It can be surprising the people you meet. See, when you make YouTube videos, you're sort of insulated from your audience. You see numbers go up on a screen, but it's not visceral. You don't feel it until you go to a convention in real life or get messaged by fans. So the other day I was on Instagram, posting about my pumpkin patch when I got quite the unexpected message. Miles Garrett, the imposing defensive end for the Cleveland Browns American football team reached out. He said that he really enjoyed my videos. We chatted some more and decided to play some Rust together. Little did I know just how thrilling our hijinks would be. I just hopped in a Bo Aim Train server. Uh, I was about to say, yo, where's the, where's the invite on that? Alright. <laughs> now both on the Bo Aim Train server, I asked Miles about his PC gaming history. Only really keyboard and mouse game I've played Man, is Doom. I love Doom. Oh, also, would you prefer if I call you Miles or Flash? I don't know. If Honestly, I get both from my teammates, so it's like, I just respond to them. If I'm going off, you gotta call me Flash. If I'm, yeah, if I'm, being, a, exactly. if I'm being a bot, just call me Miles. Stop dying, <laughs> Miles! <laughs> Now the force wipe had happened a few days ago, and with Miles being brand new to the game, I knew that today was gonna be quite something. This is actually a pretty good time to be entering a server. I'm in Y7 by Ben and Supermarket. Okay. Right there. I'm at the supermarket just picking up some things, you know, grocery shopping. Nice. The eggs get the milk. It was dusk as I ran over to meet Miles at an abandoned supermarket. I got some. All I have is food. I've got a knife with one hit. <laughs> One hit with the knife, so choose very wisely. Oh, I think I hear you. Is this you? That's me. Jessica! Hey, Brene! <laughs> Take this. Take this. You're gonna be like a ninja. Oh, this is the knife. This is the knife with one hit. <laughs> one hit and half a throw. If yes. I threw it, it wouldn't even make it. So what do you need to like power this? I showed Miles around the supermarket and geared him up a bit more as we planned our next steps. Oh, take this mace. I'm about to make a bow. We'll be the mace man. Back to my D&D &D base. That gives you plus five dexterity and plus two to strength. Hey. We farmed a bit of wood and then saw someone else. Helicopter! First, I don't, I don't even see you anymore, so. Oh, he's got a crossbow. Oh, no. Uh, no, I'm down! Run, 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 just run. I luckily stood up from the ground and ran back to Miles. Oh, I see him. Smack him. Wait, no, we're running towards the other guy. We got him. Get him. <laughs> I'm starving and I only have three health. This is not good. I need to find... <laughs> I heard that. Get him. I'm, li I'm lighting him up. I'm lighting him up. Oh, the knife. Oh! My, uh, move. oh! What a what throw! A throw. Miles had his first taste of blood and rust after a deft knife toss. I have the tiniest little baby sliver of health. Aww. But now with both of us on the verge of death, we return to the supermarket. Oh, downed me. Oh, uh, yeah, he killed me too. Come on, man. Sorry. All right. Back to the beach. After dying, we both respawned, but now on a team and warmed up for today's escapades. Can I see you on my map, in other words, from Timmy? Yes. That was a very epic knife throw. We had one shot, you know? I'm just gonna run along the road. Hopefully I get a weapon out of a... Oh! You're a wizard, Harry. I'm just trying to walk by this guy without getting killed. There's no way around. Oh, that's a scientist. You hear those shots, right? Yeah. Oh, is this sword guy chasing you? Uh, yes he is. Right, yes he is. Alright, okay. Get that sword. Oh, you had a bunch of stuff. But we could try to kill a scientist. This is how we're gonna do it. I'm gonna come around this side and you just you bum rush it. Oh, oh. Bum rush it. Go on, go on. Nice! Target neutralized. Well, automatic body. Oh, nice. Okay, that's good to recycle. That'll give us a surprise. More around. Oh, I hear somebody. Guy with a mace. I hit him. Oh, he might have been friendly. Ooh. Maybe we should pick him up. Oh, he had loot, though. Let's take his loot. I uh, will pick you up. Bro. Can you sing us a song on your guitar? He's bad. We take him out. <laughs> Agreed. When the rain blows, everybody's weed falls off the ashtray. You can't roll a blunt no more. When the rain blows, all your weed is wet. <laughs> Didn't stand any further. <laughs> you were like lurking menacingly behind him, and I knew it was coming. <laughs> Randy Orton slithering up. We recycled a bit and then gathered more components from nearby barrels. Oh, guy. Oh, he's got right in front of you. Oh, I'm out of arrows. 
Oh, I think he, Oh, this is a trap base. This is a... Don't go in there. That's a trap base. Well, I think. This gave me chaotic trap base vibes. There was a sus-looking base here, so we took off with all our stuff. Oh, no, he's... I many arrows. No. I gotta run. Oh. Since, oh, cut cut left a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. He hit me. Oh, oh no. I'm dead. No, no, I'm dead. no. Oh. Miles had died, but I had escaped with some good starting loot. I then began gathering wood and stone to make a base. Yeah, we gotta take him out. New to rust and already making enemies and seeking revenge. Classic. Oh, oh, they're in the- Bro, what? Who does this? Some hostile air balloon enthusiasts were taking pot shots at me. I raced away. They're in the hot air balloon shooting at me, man. What kind of sick, twisted individual does that? I farmed a bit more than doubled back to build our base. <laughs> Give me a juicy base, I don't know. It's cozy. We're gonna need to gather stone. Wait, who's that? Miles was still on the way back as another player approached from uphill. There's a guy here. I don't know what he has. He hit me! Bruh. This guy was hitting some really long shots. Okay. Uh, here, come to me, come to me. Over here. Where do you go? Oh, he's breaking our ba- Ah, oh, you can't do anything, though. He was trying to get our loot. What loot? Oh, he's in there right now. Oh, I hit him. Up. All our stuff is locked in there safely, so that's not an issue. I think I'm a spear. What? He had a gun. That was quite odd. I checked this bizarre player's profile. Five total hours of playtime in Rust. Yeah, this was a cheater. Unlucky. I respawned and ran back. Now, if the cheater got banned, we might be able to take back our loot, so I told Miles to keep an eye out. He was certainly having quite the first day, experiencing many of the different sides of Rust. I mounted a horse and rode home. Already? The core of our base is secure. I've got a little horsey. Okay, nice. Yeah, yeah, we still got our tool covered. 150 scrap in the TC. Let's go! Yeah, I'm gonna have a man bun too? Oh my goodness. Uh, so hold E on when you're looking at the code. I explained some more about how bases and tool cupboards worked as we went to go gather more loot. Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh. Probably Pokemon. Where's that? Pokemon. Yeah, and I remember Pegasus with the freaking yeah. wise white dragon. That guy was scarier than anyone in Pokemon. Oh, absolutely. We looted a bit, then found some mischief near the beach. Smack him! I'll smack him first. Hey, bitch. Hey, bitch. Hey, yeah, what's up, bitch? One? Now, now one you want to fight. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well. Oh, I got you. Well. Stay right there. Yeah, come oh. on. You guys are down. ass. You guys are ass. You can't take me. Yeah, you can't take me down. Put him down, Jessica. Oh, all right. Another one. Oh, I'm low now. Water. I'm healing up. Do you know the sperm whale ejaculates 10 tons of sperm? <laughs> After some naked skirmishes near the junkyard, we set back off to continue collecting everything we could get our hands on. I just want to ask you something. Take this and drink. Oh. Does your character just happen to be just black and bald? Yep. You get a randomly generated character based on your steam. Just like yours is a white guy with a man bun. Oh. We didn't have to point that out again. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was important. Drink some pond water. Mmm, natural, good for the soul. I then recycled, found a decayed base workbench, and made nail guns for both of us. We then returned to the base of the player who had killed Miles earlier. Oh, it's the guy in his stupid little base. Uh, here he is. Oh, I came. Oh, hey. Nice. <laughs> get his stuff, get his stuff. Yeah, he had one of his own, he had a nail gun. Nice, you like that. Bad, bro. I was coming out to give you guys stuff. A likely story, buddy. I'm in. Nice. Uh, you cover the outside real quick. See if I was inside this player's base, but all the boxes were locked, so I'd have to break them with a tool to access them. Oh. Yep, semi. Someone with a semi rifle was here, and Miles was dead. I was in a tricky spot. Come on. This player was being cheeky. I had to play this just right. He's 
wide peeking. I was being evasive and maneuvering around the base here. Let's do this. Killed him! You got this. Hell yeah! Oh, what's up, buddy? Hey, 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 dude! Alright. It's me! I don't even know who you are. I've literally been helping naked in this area. Alright, we're picking you up. Getting me? Now, the player in the base here seemed genuine. I left him some stuff, then Miles and I fled the area, knowing that that rifle wielding player would return. I'm back at base. We went back to our ramshackle home, and I turned it into a proper base. Oh, Are you what? dead? Oh, no. What? It was an Ioka. The first experience with an Ioka naked hardening a Rust player. Watching Miles see these things for the first time was refreshing. And maybe made me a bit nostalgic to when I started out. Outside now for everybody else I see. Oh, yeah. It's that guy's fault. Now everybody's getting shot. Let the hate flow through you. I then took off towards the supermarket to look for loot while Miles was on his way back to join me. So much. One. I got a double barrel out of a chest. Crap. Damn, it's weak. Oh. Killed him both. Oh, 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 he's gaming. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Out of ammo and with low health, I survived off some venison. Yeah, I'm about I found to. a hazmat suit. I then went to the junkyard to recycle. Hello there! <laughs> oh, you need a bullet in your head. This guy's not moving. I'm shooting at him and he's not moving. Alright, I'm going down. Oh, that Killed him. Oh. Uh, the hell are you shooting with? Do you have a shotgun? Yeah. Uh, here, take this. I dropped Miles some gear to farm and then put an airlock on the base. Full body armor. Damn, baby, look at you. I depoted the rifle, crafted a crossbow, then returned to the supermarket to hopefully chat with the player who lived in the strange base right next to it. Bro, you're the one who raided me. Just leave me alone, dude. I'm trying to progress. <laughs> How about this? How about we make some kind of alliance? We could adopt this guy. I don't know if he's by himself. I already oh. tried to do that when you guys- Oh, oh shoot! Yeah, that's the person that I'm trying to progress and get up to. I added this rather eccentric player to our team after chatting a bit. Welcome. You wanna know like a, a gamer pro tip? Yeah. So if you look down, welcome. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> we were under rifle fire. That was messed up. Did I just get dinked? Is that your guys' horse or is that the enemy's? Bop him. Oh, I see him. One sec. Oh, is that you, monkey? Our new friend seemed to have an alliance with this other player here. Hey, one, two, three. This guy's friendly. He's friendly? He's monkey. Hello? Yeah, he doesn't he's... seem friendly. He's still active. Alright, alright. I'll pick him up. Yeah, I thought you guys were someone else. You don't live up there? This player here lived in the large stone base atop the hill overlooking the valley. Yes, he's shooting. Oh, he'd betrayed him. All right, get covered. I'm gonna kill him. I, I couldn't. No, I almost killed him. And this was the same guy whose SAR we'd taken. A formidable enemy had appeared. Derek, his streamer mode name, or his real name Monkey, was our first major adversary. I respawned and ran back to make sense of what had happened. So he betrayed the other guy who he was friends with. No, I heard him. Yo, bro, your friends are not friendly, my guy. He said you're the ones who attacked him. Bro, he killed us all. After a discussion about Derek, aka Monkey, I crafted a crossbow. Does a rock do more damage than the torch? There's a guy here on me. He has no damage. I hit him. I'm bad at this. Oh, airdrop. Here. We then spotted an airdrop landing and went to claim it. Oh, I can't tell if there's anyone underneath it. Grab it. Okay. There is. Nice. Okay. Uh, here, drop I a star. Now both well armed, we regrouped at base. Uh, did you get anything else? 
uh, ramen will be even colder, honestly. Just metal on his cheeks. Can I eat this hemp seed? Uh, no, sadly. I'll hop out real quick, too. Someone here. Someone else. Oh, he has, he has some loot. Yep. Gotcha. He's dead. I can't get the Revy. Do you have, um... Oh, you got it. All right, let's run. I'll take the Revy. Take the a scuffle with our neighbors had turned into a profitable gun run for us. You ever played Fallout? It kind of reminds me of that, honestly. Yeah, Fallout 3 was so good. We then checked out a raided base uphill and made an interesting discovery. Oh, guy with some loot sleep. Oh! Wait! What if that's the cheater? Yeah, this is him! Oh, he got looted, though. Damn. The cheater from earlier had been banned and was sleeping right here, but unfortunately, someone had already found him and looted him. Oh, this guy saw us. One, he's 160, okay. He's looking at me. Uh, Welcome. Kind of mid. Before that base. Oh, hello. I have one. Hit him again. Gotta go. Hit him again. Oh, he doned me. Damn. Without meds, I returned home to plan our next steps. The TC's starting to get juicy. Yeah. Avoiding the area around Monkey's large base, I went to show Miles the scientist outpost. Ooh. So, um, put your gun away now. This area definitely reminds me of Fallout. Oh, definitely. So these are friendly scientists. Take a picture. <laughs> Alright, you got one? Alright. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, there we go. Got it. Amy. They're enemy for me, though, so we must have fought them at some point. Hmm. Ooh, this guy died. The dead guy. I bet this Ooh, scientist... Ronnie, so Get on the, get on the bone, the xylophone. From the top, boys. I push my fingers into my heart. Miles Garrett playing the xylophone. Free loot, who wants free loot? Me. Free loot for everyone. Me. Free loot, free loot. Get, like double wielding six shooters now. Inside the outpost, I then refined some crude oil into low grade fuel. I had a plan for a fairly dangerous yet potentially profitable loot run. We then headed over to the pathway down to the subterranean train tunnels. And step right in. Shh, let's do this. Remember, no rush. Someone's been here. There should, 100%. There should be bots here now. We have a train to catch. Now down in the tunnels, we search for a train to traverse the underground and seek out loot and the hostile dwellers. Well, I was actually looking forward to the 715 to Hogwarts. Sir. Ah, platform nine and three quarters. So hop into this bad boy and uh, yeah, let's go. All aboard! Exactly, like, it over. That's okay. Okay, on so on the right here in a sec, I think. Alright. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Where did it go? He's dead. Oh, oh be so dumb. After clearing out an entire station for a good chunk of loot, we continued on. Oh, just get, go straight here. Break right through, but just don't stop. Nice, the last minute adjustment. Oh, no, it's dead. They're all dead. It's been cleared. It's dead. All right. This station here near our home had been cleared. 
Proceeding cautiously, we climb to the surface. Roger, roger, Tango Niner. Oh yeah, this is it. This is the way out. This is the In pitch darkness, we ran back to our home to bank the loot. What timing? That had been a very profitable run. I got a lot of components. Let me go recycle some of them now. And I knew that Miles had felt the thrill of running home with a bunch of gear. An iconic feeling. Oof. That man just died. What? Me? Die? Never. Huh? I'm invincible. It's like Titanic. Once they say a boat's unsinkable, you're like, ooh, I've seen this one. With all the components, we then went to the junkyard downhill to recycle. I see a guy with a green dot over his head. I'm gonna take the shot. Roger, Roger. <laughs> Anxious Roger. <laughs> oh, I see the neighbors. Uh, are they taking the shot? I wanted to kill one of them so that I could push and apply pressure at close range. I did so. Oh, he's dead! Hold it. Now was my chance to push and grab his loot. Yeah, he just came out. He's dead. Great job. He's dead. Hold it. I have no ammo left, but I'm sending this. Got your back. Very nice. We banked the extra guns and Miles armed himself with the M39 we got. Uh, there you go, it's in the box. We then hopped back out to look for any leftovers. Right, I'm lurking up on them. Nice. Got it. Yep, found another SAR. It looked like we had now emptied our neighbor's armory. He's running out of things to, <laughs> yeah, to use. <laughs> Now I want to see Monkey. I'd like to murder him. Now I was thinking back to our adversary Derek, aka Monkey. I was considering a raid on him, so we surveyed his base from a distance. Oh. Oh no, there's a ba- Oh! Yeah, no, get out of there. There's a roof camper. This was a dangerous spot to hang out, so we circled back to check on our ally's base, who was now offline. Oh, he got- never mind, he already got raided. We then went to an outdoor sleeping bag so Miles could respawn to get more food. Bear. Oh, there's three AK guys here, I'm dead. No, okay. <laughs> oh, you! <laughs> I'm so glad my, my camera isn't on. The fear in my eyes. You see that dead? Take the shot. That's how it's done. Do it, I'm here. Do it. <laughs> We ran around a bit more, but we've been playing for quite some time now, and Miles had to log off, so we headed back to base. Do it right there. Right there. Boom. All right, bro. Thanks for having me. Have a good night. Yep, you too, man. All right. Well? I organized the base a bit, then logged off too. My first day with Miles had gone well, but I still had plans to get back at our rival, Derek, AKA Monkey. I logged off to take a break, but then got back on later to continue that mission. Many hours later. When I returned after my multiple hour break, I started with some base upgrades and then turned off streamer mode since I wasn't live streaming anymore. I was gonna be solo now. Miles couldn't currently play. I did some farming with my newfangled jackhammer, went home and learned a couple blueprints, and then went exploring and heard some nearby gunshots. After dying in the darkness of the night, I respawned and ran around goofing off with random people across the map. I'm friendly. I'm friendly. Hello. Oh my god. Ah! 
no, 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 stop, stop, stop. I'll sit in the chair. I'll sit in the chair and plead my case. I do know where Shrek lives. Um, he lives in the swamp. Over there. Okay, see ya. Eventually, I made my way over to check out our enemy monkey's base. These guys got raided. Someone had beat me to it. Monkey was already raided. I left his base and began aimlessly wandering. I was unsure of my next steps when I happened upon another player by the road and asked him if he had seen or heard the rep. Please, please, please. I just want to know. I just want to know. <laughs> After getting murdered, I respawned and ran back to that area, a bit peeved. Killed again by the same player, and I knew where he lived. This guy just thought I was a random naked. It looked like I had a new enemy on my hands. I ran back once more to get a better understanding of who I was dealing with here. Bro, stop. Good. These two players here were allied and causing trouble for nakeds all along the beach. You're a freaking goblin, dude. I literally just got this right now. Who's this? See? Bro, you're shooting Man. at a full nate. Bro, What's you up? can't be doing this to people, bro. No, Karma no, no, comes no. full circle, my guy. It's bro, all I'm saying shit. is if you keep trying to get you people, up you're the it. one that's gonna get got. I warned them to stop their pesky ways or they would face some consequences, but they weren't listening. I don't give a fuck. <gasps> yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, hey, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. mid. Literally don't, I don't want need this smoke. smoke, you idiot. If you want the smoke, do it. My don't face it, is right I'm here. Gonna... Nah, use the yoka. Oh, yeah? Shut the fuck up, you fat... All right, that's it, buddy. Yo, nice throw. Give me that. Give me it back. Oh, shit! Hey, yo, get homie! Hey, yo, get... All right, you guys are done. I respawned again and passed their base a few minutes later. They had expanded a bit. Well, let me see. I continued on and happened upon what looked to be the remnants of a raid. Hey, you want a boost? Sure. I met another naked player here and we began chatting a bit. Here, found this on a body. I don't need it. I don't know, man. What are your final resting place woods? You wanted the silent death. Do you have a team already set up? We then teamed up and I took him with me to go scope out the cheeky players I'd been interacting with by the beach. Okay, here, jump in. Now at their base, I tried to goad them into opening their door. Eat. <laughs> you stupid <laughs> I <laughs> you. <laughs> Give me. It, it's only a game. Why do you have to be mad? Oh, thank you, bro. Big slow powers. We're stealing all your water. Bro, I don't like After their defense, I spawned back at base, and this time, I was going in heavy. I geared up with some armor, plus a revolver and raiding tools for a wooden door. Got a present for you. Shock boy! Shock boy! They had upgraded to a metal door by the time I returned. I would now need a more delicate strategy. Mate, I don't think you know how to aim. Go back to aiming school, mate. Yo, bro, you in a windstorm? Angry air. You're running around with a revy, bro. You're dog shit. What? Eh? Of course you're running. Hey, my new friend and I were both down at their base figuring out how to get inside. I had an idea for a bit of a tricky move to get them to let me in. Alright, um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go home, I'll be back. Alright, alright. I had played that perfectly, now to see if it worked. My little trick had paid off, I was into their base. I looted up, broke sleeping bags, and secured it for myself. Cover the outside. Got it, got it. She 
Jesus, your dog ass. You f They'd killed my ally outside and were being very toxic now. No doubt quite upset that their base had been stolen from them. Hey, uh, go farm a little bit of wood real quick. You got any wood? Spewing all sorts of offensive slurs, these guys had nothing. That's why your grandpa's dead, bitch. You're really angry. <laughs> you just lost your entire base. Uh, get, stay back. Well, Seeing them go from beach bullies to toxic, hate-spewing little goblins had been quite something to witness. I banked the raid looted home and then returned to meet my friend. Yo, here, take Game. this. Uh, we'll just go back there. You want that base? Alright, yeah, I'll take it. Gamer with the ego! It's okay, one, two, three. It's okay to be your life, bro. It's okay, bro. You literally come on and wake up and, and think about this game. It's alright, bro. I do. I wake up and think about pussy. <laughs> These guys are not very happy campers. I then gave the base to my new friend. I didn't need it and he wanted a home. There you go. I'll catch you on the flip side. Ready? I bid farewell to my companion and returned home triumphant. I was then thinking about how earlier I had shown Miles many different sides of the game, but he never quite saw that dark underbelly of toxicity that can sometimes rear its ugly head. And maybe that was for the best. Thanks everyone for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Right now I'm live streaming on my Twitch, so come say hi. Also, to see some cool pumpkin pics, go follow me on my Instagram and my thumbnail artist too. And go check out Miles on his new YouTube channel as well. This has been your friend Wellen, at the end of an adventure that made me think back to when I began playing Rust. It's certainly fun to reflect. I'll see you next time.